Hey, Zach here from digitalconstructive.com. Today, we're gonna to be taking a quick look at how to pass your C20 license exam. Now, the C20 HVAC contractor license exam is gonna include sections that cover evaluation, design, and estimation, fabrication, installation, and startup, troubleshooting, repair, and maintenance, and safety. And if you're unfamiliar with the C20 license, you're definitely gonna to wanna to watch our previous video where we break this classification down in detail. Today, we're just gonna be focusing on the examination. Now, as is the case with all California contractor licenses under the C specialty, you'll also need to pass your CSLB Law and Business exam, and that'll include sections that cover business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, public works, and safety. So essentially, you'll have to pass two exams, 115 questions covering law and business and 115 questions covering HVAC. It's going to be multiple choice, closed book, You'll get three hours to complete each section. It's going to be computerized. You'll take it at a CSLB testing facility. Uh, there are facilities in Berkeley, Fresno, Norwalk, Oxnard, Sacramento, San Bernardino, San Diego, and San Jose. So just know that you know if you're applying from out of state, you will need to come to California to actually take the exam. Now, we've got a free guide that breaks the entire licensing process down, how to fill out the application correctly, the top sample questions you'll need to know. Uh, you can download that in the top right-hand corner. Now, when it comes to the HVAC specialty portion of the exam, it's going to be extremely critical that you're familiar with HVAC system design and evaluation, load and psychometric evaluations, job costing and estimation, duct system fabrication, basic electrical formulas, basic HVAC formulas, soldering and brazing, fuels and refrigerants, solar energy, electrical and mechanical components, plumbing and refrigeration components, air distribution and duct systems, HVAC system diagnostics, has handling hazardous materials, and then of course OSHA job site safety requirements. Now the C20 license is a big license, so <clears throat> there's gonna be a lot more that'll be on this exam. This is just a, a kind of a snapshot of what you need to be prepared to answer questions on. Now when it comes to the mathematics of the HVAC exam, obviously know your applied math, so addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Uh, be familiar with the electrical formulas, Ohm's law, Watt's law, et cetera you know, calculating square footage, know your different units of measurement, and then of course job costing and estimation. So decimals, percentages, there's gonna be a lot of math on the C20 license exam uh, compared to other classifications. So just make sure that you're tight on these math related questions. Now, when it comes to preparing for this exam, you know, you'll be want to really be familiar with law and business uh, because 50% of the exam covers that, but it also gives you a lot of insight on how to really run uh, a profitable and effective business in California. You know, know your HVAC fundamentals, so be able to see the possible questions that could come up. California takes health and safety codes extremely seriously, so make sure that you're familiar with the job site safety, um, environmental safety, workers' rights, etc. You know, have your fundamental math skills down. So know the common equations and the common formulas. Um, California energy, plumbing, electrical, mechanical, and building codes are going to be referenced on the exam. So be familiar with that. Have test taking experience. So flashcards with answer explanations are extremely helpful. And then, of course, walkthroughs of the exam with licensed HVAC contractors and lawyers helping you decipher the language and not only get through the test, but as I said before, run a profitable business in California. Uh, all of this is included with our C20 license course. Um, just wanna thank you for watching. I really hope this video has been helpful. Uh, like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Uh, again, my name is Zach from digitalconstructive.com and thanks again for watching.